Hey guys, it's the founder of Developers Academy and creator of this course, All Things Collection View. Today I would like to invite you to All Things Collection View because Collection View is one of the most beautiful, customizable and efficient control in iOS. So let me show you some inspiration so that you will see that using Collection View is wonderful. The first app that I'm showing you is the uh, this calendar app. In the collection view, the calendar app uses a collection view to show the day, the month, and the year. And right on the home screen, you see it is also a collection view. This collection view shows each of the app icon. After that, the uh, photo camera roll is also a collection view. Now let me show you one other things. The music app is also a collection view. It is just a collection view to use uh, to display each album or each song and its cover, album cover. The Apple Music app is also a collection view when you select the each, uh, your taste, your music taste in the uh, For You tab, right? And the App Store also uses collection view on the tab. You see the edge of the app, then you can scroll right or left. That is a collection view. Now, in this case, we have many collection view embedded in the App Store. So collection view is everywhere. And in this course, I want to teach you all things about collection view. Now, collection view is very, very efficient. The reason behind that is that it uses the same model, data source and delegates as a UI table view. This collection view is also very beautiful because it is very easily customizable. Now, the reason why it's very customizable is that a collection view because it has a data source, a delegate, and the layout of the collection view, which is the UI of the collection view, is separate. What powers the layout is a layout object. By default, it is a UI collection view flow layout. Okay, by default, it is a UI collection view flow layout. So there are several things I want you to keep in mind in this one, is that a collection view has a data source, has a delegate and a flow layout or a layout object, okay? Because now if you transition to a table from a table view or to a collection view, there will be a lot of similarities. Now those similarities are the data source, the delegates, but the difference is that this collection view it is uh, has a layout object, okay? So the reason why we can um, create very easily customize the collection view is that we can subclass this layout object to create our own layout object all right and we will talk about that in this course and here's what we're going to do with this course in part one of this course we're going to set up the collection view controller this collection view controller is wonderful in the part one we'll learn to set up the view controller the view in a collection view controller is of course a collection view right it's just like a tail view controller is the tail view okay we'll learn about the ui collection view data source ui collection view delegates we'll learn about how to set up the collection view cell and resize the cells resize the cell okay we want each of the column has three cells and we make it into a grid of cells okay and here is the app that we're going to be we're going to be a news reader app. With this app, we'll gather a lot of popular news publishers. And we can click into a cell and we transition to a detail view, which is the web view. This web view, I will teach you to open a new URL to load the whole web page in your app. And then we'll learn about the progress bar, how to progress bar to show the loading progress of a web view. Okay. So in part two of this course, we'll learn about custom collection view cell. Custom collection view cell, we will subclass a UI collection view cell to create a custom cell, just like we have been doing with a table view. And if you didn't check out the table view course, then check it out first before, before jumping into this course because it will help you a lot, right? After that, we'll jump into detail view and the web view i will show you how to select a cell and transition to the detail view how to use the web view so that you can open the whole web page in your app and using the progress bar okay it is a control in ios 
Next, we'll learn about how to insert and delete cells. When we insert new random cells, or we can delete cells from the table of from the collection view, or we can use and in this one, it's particularly I will show you in detail what is iOS delegation or the delegate things. Okay, and a lot of students ask me about iOS delegation, but the reason why I haven't made a very specific uh, course or a very specific um, kind of tutorial about delegation because we talk about that all of our projects so when you do the project at developers academy i'm sure that you will master ios delegation so no scratch about that okay don't worry about ios delegation you will learn by practicing okay not just like just learn the fundamentals you will learn in detail in practice okay Alright, after that, we'll learn how to move the cell. I will learn, I will teach you how to use the long press gesture recognizer to hold on the cell and you can move it around. Okay, we can move the cell around using long press and drag and drop. Okay, we'll usually like drag and drop and long press tap gesture recognizer. Also, we'll learn about how to use animation in custom collection view. And here's the part about the layout thing. We'll create a sub uh, we we'll create a subclass of the layout object, UI collection view can UI collection view flow layout, and we will subclass that flow layout, create our own attributes for each cell. Okay, so I don't want to mess you up. I don't want to overwhelm you with all the new details because now what I want to show you in this one first, what are the parts of this course? Second, keep in mind that a collection view has, has three things. The first one is a data source. The sec and of course this data source has things like number of sections, number of rows, uh, item for index path, okay, cell for item at index path, and we also have the prototype cell, okay. The second thing is that it has a delegate. Along with that, the delegate is delegate method. We'll show that you that. The third thing is a layout object, okay. The layout object is the thing that makes it to very, very customizable, right. So just three things to check out from this one. So I cover a lot of things in this video. I cover that. Remember that we have four things to remember. The first one is a collection view is very customizable. It has a data source, delegates, and as a layout object, okay? And the fourth one I want you to remember is that I want you to take the first step to toward your mastery at all things collection view. So that's why in the next few days, I will send you new tutorial on all things collection view, okay? So open your inbox, find out an email from me, Duke Chuan, right on the screen, you see that, okay? And start part one of this course, Set up a UI collection view controller. So I will send you this tutorial, this new video tutorial in part one of this course in a couple of days. So watch out for that, right? Until then, I see you in the next video. Please share this video with your friends or fellow developers and master UI collection view. If you have any questions or comments, please post it right down below. And then I will answer those questions or comments personally. Until then, I see you in the next one. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Duke. Did you like this tutorial? If you did, you can do two things now to continue your journey. First, you can subscribe to my channel right here, which I hope you will, so that I can continue sending you more tutorials on a weekly basis. And second, you can join Developers Academy today, start learning iOS development, and get your first two weeks free by clicking the link on the screen right now. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.